Uh, now that we have an underground space for putting things in, can we get rid of this large cargo that's on the surface? Um, not yet, because it still has stuff in it. But uh, the, that, that, that wasn't actually a request. Uh, how do you mean? Get rid of that large cargo. Yeah, all right. I'm working on it. <laughs> Cannot actually do it yet. Six engineers have been trying to build a home in Olympus Mons, big enough to keep our mobile base undercover, safe from the drone and reaver attacks. Ow! Ow! We're getting shot! There's two enemy ships. Oh, I died, and there's a hole in the right. floor. Mike is in the middle of building a mobile missile launcher. That's not... Is that connected up properly? That's not, is it? That's wrong. That's Okay, so that's actually not connected properly, so that will be all right, I think, if I just... just Drifted up by one. I wonder why that was off, because I thought they should be on the same level. Um Ed and Rev are collaborating in mining, but they've both been a bit crashy so far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Another missing engine. Um To be fair, I have achieved symmetry on the front again. RCX is setting up our industrial area. And me? My plan has a huge flaw in it. So join us as we liberate Mars. What home? What home? I wonder if there is a real What Ho magazine. What that allows people to choose the best hoes. They do like side by side comparisons. Consume me research, yeah. There's a whole collector magazine. Oh, but that appears to be Capital HO, which appears to be a, a, a model train thing. I mean, I'd be more interested in that, to be honest. Is that a mic? Yes, hello. What ho? Magazine. <laughs> Magazine. Okay, who would okay. like to help with the perennial engines not working issue? Could you turn on my bumblebee for me, please? Ah, I see. When you said the engine's not working problem, I didn't realise that was what you meant. It was the, the same bug that has plagued us that we have not resolved. I thought you meant the bug that you kept using your engines as armour. No, that's, that's not a bug, that's a feature. <laughs> I mean, the bumblebee is a bug. I see what you did there. Oh, look, this thrasher's within 1.4 kilometers of us. Oh, that could That's be bad. bad. He's getting um, shot up a bit. It looks like it's already shooting the red dwarf, so we should be okay. Uh, you are on max power while stationary. I know, I've noticed that because I don't know why, but anyway. But that's why you can't lift or move. It's not the bug, you're just... Oh, my batteries maybe are on uh, charge, are they? Uh, some of them are off, yes. Okay, I'll have a look. Um, but also, what's going on with this reaver? Oh, I don't know. Where's my dead body gone? Yeah, well, it's coming in, but it's like already going down. Whoa, shit! It's going to crash into the Zorro. Oh, well. Um, no, it's, no, it's not. fine, but it is like. Yeah, the red dwarf is quite on fire. Anyway, so yeah, I have a problem with the elephant, which is that its connector... This is a bit shit. ...which I use to load it with stuff for welding the floor, cargo containers, etc., is cool. no longer connected to anything useful because the Duke Duke's been moved. Well, what we could uh, do is build a giant um, extension, or I can't help but notice that there is a tasty cargo connector sticking out in yellow here. I mean, my connector, yes. And therefore, we could just build another connector here. Uh, yes, just... that, that I had did set up for someone else to tee off. Uh, no, I've had a better idea. You're going in. You're going to set one up inside for you. Got That's that, literally the whole point of drilling that, digging the oh, hole. Big giant hole, yes. Stupid cargo containers are doing quite a lot of damage to my uh, engines. The cargo containers are doing damage to your engines. Yeah. Uh, I think you have this backwards. Well, well, my engines aren't damaging the cargo containers. I can tell you that. Oh, is this the problem of not being able to pull it through another connector? I'm not sure to what problem you prefer. Uh, I can't get the components I want there. I have to actually go to the Duke Duke. Yes. Like a caveman. You <laughs> have, doesn't have a conveyor system. Oh man, look at those cavemen go. Where's your connect? Oh, I see your... Your green. A green? What? No, oh, no, it's just you've got a green Neo light green. on you. Well, I have a green light on the starboard side and a red light on the port side. Wow, how... 
how uh, homosexual is that? Uh, well, it's like, I guess, quite nautical. And you know what they say about sailors? Oh, indeed. Oh, they're fighting on the dance floor. We just covered that. They've got a boy <laughs> in every port. What could be going wrong that suddenly putting me in a low power consumption mode? Um, are you heavier? Um, no. Bit of a personal question. The game is saying I've lost four batteries. Uh -huh. Did they get a box they sword or something? Is that possible? Uh, well, if you'd stop whacking into things, it might not happen quite so much. Where were where your batteries? In the oh, middle yes, of the Oh, yes, I can way. see a projection of a battery in the middle here. Two. Oh, wow. Where have they gone? Three. Well, not Battery there. heaven. Wow. Okay. Well, that explains why I'm suddenly having difficulty drawing power. Yeah. How bizarre. Is that... Da, da, do you think da, they got voxeled? Da, da, da. I'm not sure what you mean by they got voxeled. Is that like getting tangoed? Well, no, because you know when you've been tangoed. <laughs> I'm going to avoid well, yeah, because your batteries have gone. <laughs> that was hilarious on my screen. What have oh. you done? He just cap to the elephant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The elephant was perfectly stationary, <laughs> as the video evidence will attest. And he just flew into it at 100 meters per second and died. <laughs> it was like a fly pewinging off the windscreen. Um, Okai. Okai, the new. I've never understood what the new means in that context. Me neither. Nobody explained it to me when I lived in Scotland. But then I never heard anybody say Okai the new, so... <laughs> Was it more of, um... Drunkenness and misery? Uh, no, I didn't live in Glasgow. Ah. Important. Or in the House of the Rising Sun, for that matter. Indeed. I mean, I did live in a pub, so there was some drunkenness, but it was quite cheerful drunkenness on the whole. For all your caveats about lights, I... No, we didn't have I... caveats. It wasn't that posh. <laughs> no, no, none of these fish <laughs> eggs for us. I see what you did there. For your caveats about lights, I think I am going to fit some onto the drill sergeant. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, put some, put any, as many as you like on your ship. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. Put a sensible well, number on your ship. Get the, <laughs> but you like, get the mod where uh, you can add spotlights that don't cast shadows. If or you, uh... we could just use the lights that we have. Okay, sure. You know, whatever. Whatever illuminates your boat. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Ow. Uh, could someone uh, come lend me a hydrogen bottle? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Also, let's try not to weld myself. Uh, where are you? Uh, in the hole, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So you, you would like me to get down in the hole with you? Mm -hmm. Dan, you can't <laughs> go any lower. Down. Oh, I can, because, like, Rev dug the hole way deeper than it needs to be. <laughs> okay, okay, so how do I... What is a good way of connecting a large grid thing up to a small grid thing that's, like, easy um, to do? Using a hinge is the easiest way. You need to use the warhead and set it to arm. <laughs> I mean, you're trying to get Mike to blow himself up, but Mike <laughs> couldn't blow himself up <laughs> even when he was actively <laughs> trying to. <laughs> You're trying to protect Mike. How, how very kind. Well done. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Heaney, what were you saying earlier when Dan was talking? Hold on. Um, I. Um, is that what you were saying earlier? Because that's a bit boring. It is not what I was saying earlier, but it is what I'm saying now because I've had a slight navigation issue. A slight navigation issue. Is this the kind of navigation issue that requires you to use your engines as armor? I probably um, want the. Oh, there's only one assembler left on the Duke Duke. Yes. That's yeah. why the this interior is, plates why are taking so is going long. Very yeah. Slowly. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is why I getting... criticized Doug. But <laughs> uh, I agree with your criticism. <sighs> Indeed, yes. They're ganging up with you, RCX. 
Yeah, how long I spent making that giant pink sparkly array on top of the Duke as well. Well, I've done a whole lot more. I just want to see where your connector is so I can work on out the back. where I need to. It's on the back. Much like the oh, careful! I just got rammed by the bumblebee. Okay, oh, so any advice on how to side. any advice on how to build this thing without screwing it up horribly? Um, get somebody else to do Speak it for now. you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Ed. Docking point for you. Before I dock, I'm just reattaching the camera that got knocked off me in one of my minor uh, ops. So I've actually minor got, navigational incidents. Yeah, so sort of, I've actually got a functional docking camera. And docking right. cameras are really useful. Can I just yeah. leave this bit here as a kind of little statue in the hangar? Built your hangar yeah. with an art piece, art installation in it. Oh, I, I have built a temporary Wait. light on the temporary connector. What was that? A plate of engines. <laughs> no wonder we're always running out of motors. I got all the damn nickel for these for these engines. I need and to how many it did it cost us to get that? To get it originally, not a lot. It was. Uh... This connector, then. I see it. Thank you. Um, there you go. We have a light in our hole now. There's a light. Over. At Over the... at Olympus Mons. Doesn't scan quite so well as the Frankenstein place. The RCX place. You want to come down by five meters. I do. I do. I'm just changing. I might room. actually be able to legitimately get away with only one thing here. How big are these large grid ones, actually? Okay, your level, go backwards. Uh, I've just switched to my... Okay, if you are on your camera, I will stop helping. I am, thank you. There we go. Um, helping. Locked. Gentlemen, right. connected up to this tasty little um, connector Dan's built me. <laughs> Is there an automatic device for extracting and refining stuff, or do I have to manually extract and refine stuff from my cargo holds? Uh, there isn't an automatic thing yet. Okay, so I will move, th I will move from... Give me... Uh, well, you, you should, when you connect up, it should pull the any ores out of your cargo. Any ores or any metals? I don't know what I've, whether, which one I've got. Let me look. You've got ores if you've been mining. I have. I've been mining pure metal. It, yes, so, um... I still have 42 kilos, tons, 42 tons of iron in my large cargo, and it's not being taken out. Do I need to set anything to allow this cargo container to um to have stuff taken from it? No. Uh, okay. In which case, I just leave it connected and assume that whatever assembly is sorted, etc., will get to it in the end. Yes, or you can just drag it to a cargo that's not on your ship. Uh, though I notice none of the refineries have any stuff in them, RCX. What? Uh, no. I mean, are there any ores in the system? Well, we yes. Ed's just connected a ship. All right. Give. <laughs> yeah. That's literally just connected 42 hey. tons of ore. Give me one moment. Oh yeah, the Reaver Invaders like two and a half clicks out. Curious. I can't drag it, it to is. anything. Uh, Why are there oh. no blueprints for it? Is your connector not connected to I mean, your cargoes or something? Oh no, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, the invader is coming down right over the entrance to our hole. I'll be fine. Not great. It's going to make a mess of the floor. Oh, it's a big it, bang. Uh, it has made a bit of a hole in the roof. <laughs> uh, and How's it's it? also littered the Duke Duke with components. I can definitely uh, see from the big blue cargo container in Bag End. I can no, there is no Bag End. You can't see anything in Bag End. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the whole formerly known as Bag End, um, I can, in the big blue cargo container, I can, can, I can see... The 42 tons of ore, I just can't move. Wait, you can't move it from your ship to the blue cargo container? That's right. I, well, I mean, something must be damaged. One of those things, one of those tubes or the connectors must be damaged. Wait, is it because... Oh, you, it's because your main cargoes are only connected to this cargo with through this sorter? But, um, that 
Ed's cargo is then connected back to the main connector, right? Right, but there's nothing in this cargo. Look, you've got sorters here going out to the the large cargoes. Oh, so I see. There's no way I for mean. the cargo to get out of the large cargoes to this medium cargo at the back. I get it. I think we had this conversation last time, actually. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. I see what I have done, and I understand it now. That's okay. Right, I'm going to fix that up. No worries. Generally, it'll explode if you've got things like, you know, the RPM of your hinge is set high. So as soon as it attaches, it then, like, flips the thing 180 degrees. Okay. I mean, the other thing that can happen is that if it decides that it is close enough to attach and then does the attachment, and then the attachment uh, causes two different things to be intersecting. Yes, that, uh, that also. That's the, uh, that's the most exploding <laughs> scenario. I know what uh, you're The other exploding scenario is Rev crashing the bumblebee into the wall of this garage. <laughs> what am I crashing? You're crashing the bumblebee into the wall of the garage. I saw it. No, I was having difficulty navigating my way. I was just bumblebeeing, basically. Yeah. Bumbling free. Oh, I do seem to have a bit of damage from that, actually. Yeah. I know what's up. Uh, How many batteries are you missing lights. this time? If you could put some lights in there, please, it would be well, easy to navigate. I just put lights on the front <laughs> of my ship, so. So, I know what Dan said about uh, my. that I didn't need so many sources and so on, but I'm going full Magnus Magnuson on this. Have you built more uh, assemblers now? I am uh, working on it. There is one fully speed moduled assembler. There are about to be about five of them. Five? Oh, that's shit. not enough. I need some energy. Uh, Can we get some speed modules? More than they, they, they are going to be fully speed moduled. Okay, where is this operation, Mike? Um, over. Yeah, we're powering this where entire base off one wind turbine. At the moment. Uh, it's near. It's near the Zorro. I mean, um, it's mostly the Duke Duke, but yes, like uh, building more batteries is uh, definitely. Uh, I think we need a I reactor, a big reactor. Sure. In the base, which means uh -huh. we need to build a reactor room. Ah. Uh -huh. Is is that what we need to do? Is that where Absolutely. the reactor goes? I mean, Absolutely. obviously the reactor goes in the reactor room. What's, what's complicated about that? We can't fight in here. Okay, Mike, where are you? You can't react in here. This is the reactor <laughs> room. Exactly. Okay, would you like me to just come and uh, you know, be the walker. inspecting yeah, engineer okay, before go, you attempt this maneuver? forward slightly, Rev. Oh, what are you doing? I was going <laughs> to put one more on top of it, just uh, vertical stalk. Okay. I mean, Mike, if you were worried about, like, one thing making the whole thing fall off, you probably should have put a conveyor junction in here. Because if I'm any actually, one of yeah. these conveyors gets shot, the rest of the thing is no longer attached. Yeah. Well, wouldn't the conveyor junction have the same problem? No, because conveyor junctions attach to the surrounding blocks. Yeah, true. I've realized that, yeah, this actually isn't a very well design laid out design, but I can't also can't change it very easily. Well, this is like, it's not going to get easier to change it at any time after this. This is the easiest no. time. Uh, also, you've put the hinge on the welder and the yeah, hinge part that seemed, on that the Yeah, that seemed floor. like the easier thing to do. It won't be when you come to control the assembled thing. Oh, why? Because the hinge will be on a subgrid. You, you really want the hinge to be on the main grid. Oh, okay. Uh, right, okay, Rev, then I'm going to have to do it. Hang on a sec. Let me change this. You could just leave the Trinity Porter attached for now. Also, you have a broken engine. Me? Right? I always have broken engines. Okay, so I want the hinge part on this one. Take better care of your ship, yeah. Rev. and the hinge on the main grid. Or just build redundant engines. Yeah. I mean, you can do it with a rotor instead of a hinge, but uh, the hinges are a bit more stable. Uh, oh, there's a thrush. Uh, you can get some cream for that. I was about it? to say, indeed. Well, this thrush is three and a half uh, kilometers away, so it's going to be quite <laughs> hard to apply the cream. <laughs> Are we going to call one of our gunships the Caniston now? <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, that... I don't know why, we get, why we're why we getting a thrush, because we've got so many douches there, on the team. <laughs> okay, it's, it's ready now. I see what you Hang on, I need there. to go and yeah. recharge my energy. Hang on a sec. Uh, I'm not ooh. moving. Oh, so you might want to the repair the panda. Yes, right. You might want to repair the panda. What, what's uh, happened to her? What means what's happened? Uh, I'm stuck to the ground. <laughs> right, we, they took the landing gear. 
I just oh. removed the landing gear. Oh, we wait. Did, did you build the landing gear intersecting the ground? Is this thing a station? Put it, put it uh, in the space uh, panel. Uh, find out. It is a station. Right. Oh, Let's see what explodes. Convert to ship. <laughs> oh, nothing exploded, but you should be able to move now. All right. Where's your thing gone, Mike? It uh, is to your okay. right. No, it's to your left. You might want to start directing, Mike. Yeah, right. Uh, da uh, forward slightly down. Ah, uh, no. Too far down. Uh, forward slightly. Forward. No, no forward. Back. Oh, right. Backwards. Sorry, backwards. Back. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm looking at the direction of the um, thing. Okay, no, no, no. Sorry, up, up, up. Up, right. up, and Excellent. right. Down. No, okay. Our Slightly uh, left. Slightly left, left more. I'm going to back a bit. Uh, left slightly more and down. Mike's just going to say left for a very down, long time. Down, here, down, right? down. Uh, okay, down. It's, okay, so I've just realised this is way, way too big. No, no, it, it, does, it, it does kind of intersect with it a bit, but that's fine. Uh, ba okay, so forwards, Rev, I think. But, like, forward. not much. Uh, go a bit to your right, like a few centimetres. Now try going forwards. Hmm. It is not fitting. Does it, it only run. work the other way around then? Was I wrong? It, RCX. What? <laughs> Can you, you not put a see... large hinge on a, a large hinge part on a small hinge? Can you only do it the other way around? Yeah, you can only. Oh. Okay. So then in that case, can... I... my I original plan was the actually right. With the, and okay. with the rotors. Ah yes. I've no, only tried it the other way around with this. Oh. <laughs> More space there. Uh, okay. Rev, hang sorry, on sec, hang on. Sorry, hang on. Wait, wait, Mike, wait, wait. You wait. didn't need to do it the way you were doing it before. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I led you astray. Can you put the part on like that? Yep, yeah, there we go. Hang on a minute. Wait a sec, Rev. It's not ready yet. Also, don't deliberately crash it into anything yet. I'm not looking. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, forwards, and you need to like twist slightly to the left. How about that? The How about left? that? There we go. Yeah. A bit left. Uh, you need to connect yet? Uh, no. Um, You're no, a up, bit up, left. Up. You're a bit left. Okay, that looks now, close. Move, now translate but... a bit right. That looks yeah. perfect. To me. Very good to me. Okay, okay. How do I lock this? Okay, how do I lock this? I need build mode. How do I get I build mode? I don't think this is in the correct place, Mike. I think you might have sized this wrong. Come and look at it from where I'm yeah. standing. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what. That was what I was saying about it being too big. I think <laughs> it is. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Like a sort of I mean, it's not that the hinge it. doesn't fit. It's just that yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Is that, that it's, yeah, like I, I, well, like, yeah, well, I was trying to work out the size. It turns out I got the size way wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could just attach um, it now that you've got it in place and grind the conveyor off and then lift the whole thing into place. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is true. <laughs> Maybe yes. not. You, Maybe not. Like this, it seems like I a mean, waste of time, though. There is an argument that the uh, okay. can you rebuild the can whole thing. Can you build vision this place? No, being in large grid would be the problem. Is hello? That I, yes, build Rev. Can you build vision? Okay, how do I? Sorry, how do I build vision again? Control middle click on the hinge. Oh. Okay, the hinge. Oh, okay, hang on. Right. Attach. There we go. There we go. Click, attach. Disconnect. Okay. Yeah, it worked, ish. It worked, but good luck welding up a missile. Ah, you're picking up the rack. Yeah. Where are you taking it? Bombs away. What? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, what the hell? Uh, you appear to have broken it. Have I? What happened? No, no. Mike. Oh, okay. Has done something uh, to his hinge. I didn't touch it. It just started being. Ow. Just ah, started I'm doing stuck that. On it now. It's like oh. complaining every time I oh, build something. It, it's I, like I'm literally I'm just putting a block on the bottom of the ship. Oh, and it makes I think it's because it's clashing with this opposite. Welder, I'm just going to grind this one off there. All right, yeah. It'll be fine now. Um, RCX. Yeah. That's me. No, That's actually not. isn't. You know what you were saying earlier about, um, we were, well, I think it was Ed who wanted to split this grid to put an extra thing in the middle. Uh-huh. Um, I want to do that. It should be safe. This is connected to the uh, floor grid at this end. Ah, that the you want to do the pipe like along here. I want to split this pipe, yeah. 
Um, it's just a question of whether, like, it'll um, reattach the grids. I, I mean, it I will would... reattach the grids because they're stations. It's fine for stations. Okay. Sure. Uh, so I'm thinking this one. Yeah. And then we just build another long tube going that way. Well. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the grids are falling apart. No, of course they haven't, because I'm competent, you fool. <laughs> ah, well. Oh, but I have run out of components. Uh, have you got any components? On your half of the grid? <laughs> Probably, yes. Ah, yes, you have. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do this again while I'm doing it. I'm going to do a second one over on this side. Like this one. Boop. Goodbye. You are the weakest compare junction. And... It does depower everything when you do that as well. Well, I've just repowered it. So stop your whining, bitch. Yeah. Uh -huh. My world is not on. Okay, well, you should have uh, all the interior plates you desire. I desire a lot of interior plates. <laughs> I have appetites for interior plates that some men would call unusual. Offset, etc., of a um, projector? Uh, what about them? Is there some maximum offset one can project at? Uh, it's pretty huge. Okay. So I could go up three and along. Oh yeah, well, sure. to make a you photocopy can go of my way more than twelve. I guess he's like two five five or something. And back a bit. <laughs> quick, uh, quick, what are you, you projecting? Uh, a new bumblebee to be a hornet. Uh -huh. Ah, ah. So you want to like project bits of it and like make it longer that way? Um, no. Uh, my hornet is a bit of a misname, but it's going to be a bit shorter and stubbier. Um. It's, it's the the drilling the, the the grinding vehicle we talked about. Uh -huh. ah, it's not critical for operations, but I thought it'd be fun to make. Hornet's not really known for their grinding. Well, the bumblebee is more. Uh, the, it, it, I think they'll they'll be named the wrong way round, as it were. But that'll be fine. But we'll live with it. Hornets aren't you know they're they're pointy, you know. Yeah, but the grinders aren't pointy. They're round. Uh, they've got sharp bits on them. Yes, but like a hornet in a circle. They're dangerous, they buzz, and you don't want to get near them, do you? Oh, okay, I like that bit. Ooh, uh, the two engines are on, by the way. Is that deliberate? Uh, that is not deliberate. That does not look very deliberate. Now, remember, Mike. Hinge yep. is hinge. Rotors rote, and pistons pissed. <laughs> I thought I've turned the Atmos off, but they seem to be on. Oh, weird. Um, is there a decent ha have you has, Have you someone destroyed that block and... Rebuilt it in a way that's not part of the main control group. Um, that's possible, I suppose. Mm. Yes, that's what's happened. I wonder who'll own up to that. Well, who flew? My money would be on Re my memory would be on you, Rev. To be honest. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, the, I, I would also put you name you as person least likely to own up to it. I, was <laughs> I mean, I, what you think? Because I'm public spirited enough to have uh, rebuilt the communal thruster. Oh God! Uh, why is oh God? Uh, the whole thing, the whole assembly just collapsed. Oh, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> where's the landing gear, Mike? Uh, well, I had to grind it off so I could put a rotor on, and then it all <laughs> fell down. Well, <laughs> and you're surprised that it fell down when there was well, no longer anything was... holding it up. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't stable before, so Leave it I was hoping it would stay stable. So you're hoping that not. after you lifted it up in the air, off whatever was holding it up before, it would still be stable. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Turns out that that was. Um, what was your first degree in again, Mike? 